Hey guys, Tom here with another affordable watch collection video. Um, today I'm going to talk a little bit about one of my uh, uh, battery operated watches that I have. My 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 digital watches. Um, I don't have a lot of battery operated watches in my collection, at least that I consider to be uh, a watch that I... I uh, that I that I wear regularly I did have and have had uh, quite a few of the um, the tuning fork watches the Bulova Accutrons um, but I recently actually sold um, the remainder of the Accutrons and parts that I had um, obviously and, and that's one of the watches that really got me interested in in uh, in the technology that goes into watches, uh, the tuning fork being, you know, its history in being a, a unique way um, to uh, to keep time compared to all the technology that had been uh, been introduced in the hundreds of years of timekeeping history up until that point. It's pretty fascinating, and its uh, connection with, of course, the uh, the space programs and stuff like that. It's really worth looking into the the Bulova Accutron watches. I never got my hands on a an Accutron Space View, though. You know, I, I would definitely add one to my collection if I could, if I ever encountered one that was that I felt was a reasonable price. Um, but I have never even held one in my hands, to be honest with you. Um, uh, I think they're cool, you know, and 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 of the Accutrons, I think that's you know that's obviously the one to own. So the watch I'm going to be talking about today is uh, it's my Seiko A904. Um, it's the uh, the Seiko Alarm Chronograph. Um, you know, watches of this era and design, <laughs> you know, have kind of a, a cult following. Um, it's similar to that. Like the the Casio F ninety one, or the you know the the metallic version of that, which is the like the A A seven hundred uh, from Casio. This one I have, you know, I wouldn't necessarily uh, uh, go out of my way to seek out a a watch like this necessarily. Um, <laughs> Uh, just because, and I, I, you know, I do, I do occasionally wear this one because I, I do think that it's, it's, uh, it's got its own little story to tell. Um, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, like I said, I don't have a lot of battery operated watches in my collection necessarily. And, uh, and this one, uh, to be honest, uh, this is, this watch I paid, uh, a grand total of one dollar for um, <laughs> at a local thrift shop and put a battery in it it does have some some discoloration you know around the face you know, all the way around where I think maybe the face is separating from from whatever is in the back but um, you know it is what it is my one dollar investment has uh, it's definitely given me at least some degree of enjoyment and uh, <laughs> I do like this one. I should wear it more often. <laughs> I have a, another battery operated, this time analog, um, which is a, uh, a Slava <laughs> Kraba Russian watch. This one here is a... Uh, uh, it's you know this one it was actually made during the the Soviet Union, and um, the uh, the company was at at some point was uh, bought and uh, is I believe still uh, state owned um, as a watchmaking company. Uh, pretty peculiar watch. Pretty peculiar. Uh, movement inside um, just a just kind of a different watch uh, I have worn this one uh, on occasion I, I've had this one for about three three years 
I put a battery in it when I uh, when I first got it, and it's still running. But I I've noticed that just in the last couple of months, it seems to have lost quite a bit of time. <laughs> I think it's time to put a new battery in this one. But uh, I did want to speak a little more in detail as to what I'm trying to do on this channel or with these videos. I'm just kind of showing you know what attainable watches I have and uh, maybe hopefully giving other people hope that if they're just diligent and they pay attention while they're just out and about um, you can encounter some very interesting watches um, you know, watches that you know you might you know a, a connoisseur or collector that's you know all about you know the higher higher name brands are probably just they're gonna turn their nose up at but you know, may have a heck of a lot more character or be quite a bit more rare than, than what you find in the, the couple thousand dollar price range, you know. Um, so as I, as I go over these watches and, and explain in brief detail what I know about them, um, I, intend to, uh, I intend to revisit some of these watches in the future as I, uh, and go into greater detail. Um, right now I'm just kind of feeling it out and and I'm trying to put these videos together um, just uh, with some of the, the basic knowledge that I have of each of my watches. And uh, then maybe we'll elaborate in the future. Uh, anybody who's watching this, uh, I do appreciate you watching. Uh, if you enjoy it or have any questions even, leave me a, leave me a comment. Ask me a comment in, a, in the comment section and I'll, I'll definitely answer and, and uh, tell you what I know. Um, so... Thank you for watching and I'll be back with another watch.